This is a huge freaking Nitro graphics card. This is the Sapphire Fury Nitro. This one's overclocked to 1050 right out of the box. They didn't touch the memory. It's just as it were. Now, this one is using their special Tri-X cooler. This is supposed to be the best iteration of the Tri-X cooler. We've got five heat pipes in there, plenty of fins underneath there, and these are all double bearing 90 millimeter fans on top. And then it's covered, it's covered with a shroud, but the shroud goes all the way over to the back to encompass it right there, you know, just hold everything in place, make sure it's nice and rigid. On the back, we have the aluminum. It's uh, nice and, oh, it's cool. Oh yeah, it is hot in this room, man. I just want to carry this around town on a hot day, you know, like chilling in some hot environment like Los Angeles or Singapore. Just take my graphics card with me. This is what I use these things for. What am I, what am I talking about? Oh yeah, uh, aluminum back plate. They say it'll cool down the PCB a little bit, and that might be true. It may dissipate some heat. Dissipate some heat, yes. But it's uh, also going to provide rigidity. And, and, dude, come on. Look at this. It's freaking it's sexy. You want to make love to this graphic card, don't you? All right, let's talk about uh, the other things here. On top, we've got two of the 8-pin power right there. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at the front here. Three full-size DisplayPort, HDMI 1.4a, and then we've got the uh, dual-link DVI on the top there. This thing can handle most games at 4K, and that's pretty much all there is to it. 28 nanometer manufacturing process on this one. Four gigabytes of the high bandwidth memory, and that's the really fancy memory. The, the, the bit width is 4096. Stream processors, 3,584 of them. Uh, texture units, 224. Clocked at 1050. The memory is clocked at 500, and it runs effectively much higher than that. Now, this one has, I guess, dual firmware or two BIOS options. And you can change them here. You press the button on the top here, and it'll change the different, the different bioses, bioses, bio, biosi, biosi. It changes the biosi. It changes between one and the other. Now, what's interesting is one uh, has a max power draw of 260. The other one has a max power draw of 300. And then it's 75 of C as the target on one, and then 80 C as the target on the other for heat. So if you switch over to the other one, you have a little bit more headroom to overclock. Now, either way, I was able to add 100 extra megahertz, and most games were just fine. I went ahead and bumped it up um, and made sure I was using the, the higher profile. But yeah, adding 100 extra megahertz, making it 1150, is, I think it should have come like that out of the factory because it was so easy to do. Just bumped up the power by like 10% or whatever and, and didn't even need to add anything fancy on top of that. I did have a little bit of trouble overclocking the memory. Maybe that's why they left it at stock. It just... I don't know, that memory, I did not like it when I started pushing it. It was throwing back artifacts, it started rendering things in black and white, it crashed my machine, even adding just a little bit to the memory. So I may have to get in there and tweak around with that, and I know some of you guys are going to have more time than I do to play with that, but just know that you do have a lot of headroom. They've also done a few other things to make sure that you can overclock this card. You've got an eight-layer PCB with two ounces of copper in there, so that's going to help. Uh, we have, you know, the, 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 the diamond black, I believe it's the diamond black chokes, just really... Nice, nice high quality uh, components there as far as the different phases go, the, the power phase design going into the core. So you should get some nice clean power going into the core. Uh, on top of that, with the Tri-X cooling unit here with the five heat pipes, and that's copper right on the core, uh, it, this one does a really good job. And the other thing on top of that, if you're not really worried about overclocking, you just want to play your games at 4K, that's okay. Uh, it, it does run decently cool. It was running in the, I guess the the high 60s uh, without the overclock. When I did the overclock, it was running in the, in the mid to low 70s. It never actually got up to 80 degrees, even while playing The Witcher for a while. So that is, that's kind of cool. The fans, you don't hear them that much. Um, they don't kick on until a certain point, but um, after you're playing games, they do kick on, of course. And it's a low, low whir. I was, wasn't able to get an accurate reading because back in the background there, that Corsair is too loud. Um, if we have time later, we'll put this in a machine and that's really how you should test them. Put them in a machine and then just hear the difference in the ambiance at where your ears are. Because, I mean, yeah, it makes a lot of noise if you put your head in the system, but I don't like to test that way. Your, your ears are up here, not in your computer all the time. I want to know the actual real world difference. Coil wine. Yeah, let's talk about those wine and brats. So coil wine. Yeah, it's still there. They, they said that they did some special technology magic voodoo. No, it's still there. You can still, it's, it's not terrible. It's better than... An, it's better than it was on most iterations and most other AMD cards. It's on NVIDIA cards, too. AVGA has some problems with it. Some other companies have some problems with it. It's just it's just coil wine, man. Um, 
and it usually happens at higher FPS. So around three to 400 FPS and above, if you load up a, a game that has a menu that's rendering super fast frames and it's like 3000 FPS, it's like, pssst, you can really hear a high pitched whistle. The dog comes running and slams into the wall and all that kind of thing. It's not as loud as it was before. I'm over exaggerating. In most gaming scenarios, you don't hear it. Once it gets above 100 or 120 FPS, it, there's actually a little bit of a buzz. It sounds like a very, it sounds kind of like a bee beside your ear. It's weird. It's not going to be as apparent if it's in your machine. It, maybe you won't even hear it at all if, you're, if you've got a good, you know, like a, a sound dampened machine. And one other thing I want to mention before we, we talk about 4K 1080p, it does, it does work with DirectX 12 and Vulkan and a whole bunch of other things. There's some other AMD technologies like the um, super resolution. So what that does is if you have a you know 1080p monitor and you're like, well, that's this, this card's going to be overkill for me. Well, you can actually make your games look better on 1080p by using this uh, technology. What it does is it renders the game at 4K, down, down samples into 1080p, but it looks way crisper than 1080p. And it runs about the same as 1080p with filters, but it's going to... It all, it's almost like putting on a new pair of glasses and you're like, whoa, I can see the world again. It looks it looks really nice. So we've got a video coming up on that pretty soon. Rooster's doing a, um, you know, a whole tutorial on how all that works. So stay tuned for that. Now let's get into these benchmarks. And then you guys can go get yourself a bucket of ice cream if you want. I don't care. But you're going to stay and listen to this, okay? So first off, we start off with Valley uh, 4K and 1080p. As you can see there, did okay. Uh, we had a little bit of coil whine at 1080p, uh, which is interesting. Just the buzzy coil whine. Bioshock, 1080p and 4K, both as expected. Never dipped below 53 FPS at 4K, so that's nice. There's a couple times when it dipped. Uh, not a lot of frame time variance, but you guys can see all that. I'll upload that to the website. Thief, Mantle, and DirectX 11. Now, in Mantle, the 1080p performance was better than the DirectX uh, performance, but the 4K performance was better with DirectX. I don't know what's going on there. I mean, it was like not not a little bit. It was like substantially better with DirectX at 4K. So that's a bit of a head scratcher. I thought Mantle should be better almost all the time with these cards. I think it's going to come down to needing just a bit more refinement in the drivers. And the, the, the new drivers are getting better all the time. So that's nice. Now, the vanishing of Ethan Carter is nice because we've updated to the Unreal Engine 4. So we're using that version of the game now, whereas most of the other benchmarks you've seen us do have been the Unreal Engine 3 version of that game. So thanks to the guys, uh, the devs, for updating that. It looks really pretty. All right, so uh, that one running at 1080p and 4K. As you see, it's about 120 and, and around 60 FPS, so just double the FPS. Uh, and that game runs nice and smoothly. Uh, we did a little overclock on this card, and I'll talk about that in just one second, but it, it did a, a pretty good job at Ethan Carter. Next up, The Witcher 3 at 1080p and 4K. 61, 1080p, and then it's interesting. The At 4K, it was running at about 32 on average, or 30 on average, I mean. But it never dropped below 28, so really nice frame timings on The Witcher there uh, for both 1080 and 4K. Now, one thing I want to note, we used the filters uh, with 4K. If you turn off the filters, it looks really good because, I mean, the pixel density is such that you don't see a lot of the aliasing that you would normally see with 1080p that's, you know, especially when you start stretching and doing weird resolutions and stuff like that. So if you have a native 480p panel or if you want to do the super resolution, I would recommend doing 4K and turning off the filters. You'll get almost the same FPS as you would with 1080p, so do that. Um, now let's talk about it. just a couple uh, overclocked benchmarks. We, we only did a couple, but we, we did push this by 100 megahertz using the Trick software from um, Sa Sapphire. And it was pretty easy to do. I didn't spend much time. You guys could probably spend more time, especially because, you know, they've done so much to make this card uh, good for overclocking. So in Valley, we were able to get three or four extra FPS. Not much. Three or four. But we also tested out Ethan Carter, since it's an Unreal Engine 4 game. Uh, and that one, we were able to get a 1080p 131 versus the 119 that we had before, and then 64 versus 60, adding 100 extra megahertz. That may not be worth it for some of you guys, ramping up the fans and the extra heat that's generated. It's not much, but the extra power draw, whatever, it's not going to really affect your power bill much. But um, it may not be enough for some of you guys, but if you really want to get in there and tweak it, uh, you can go ahead. I mean, it's not going to break any records like the Fury X or the, uh, you know, the 980 Ti or whatever, but... It's a very fast card, and for the money here, you get a lot, I think. Um, and, and that's the main thing for me the, with, these, with these cards, is you get an extreme amount of power. Uh, the Fury is sort of a sweet spot for me. The Fury X is, is extreme, but this one can do almost as much as the Fury X. So, and, and this overclocked version is a, a pretty, pretty attractive option. So I like this card from Sapphire. Um, I'm not sure if there is any real answer for the coil wine because it seems to be plaguing the industry. Um, this one has a lower amount. Just remember that. But other than that, it's uh, just a hell of a fast card. 
and uh, the aesthetics are up to you. I think it looks nice, but it's completely up to you. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Also, be sure to support the store. We got the. This is only going to be for a few more days, man. You got to get your Gordon. F I can't say that. <clears throat> this shirt is free, man. That's what I can say. So head over to EpicPants.com and check that out. And uh, look for all the updates coming in the future. We'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.